Hey everyone, I'm Joshua McSorley, a UX UI designer with Mission Cloud Services. And today, I'm excited to announce that we've made some big improvements to the Mission AWS Pricing Calculator Spreadsheet version 2022.1. In this video, we're going to look at some of the updates we've made to version 2022.1 that will make calculating and forecasting AWS spend easier and faster than ever before. Okay, let's get started. So one of the big changes that you'll notice as soon as you open version 2022.1 is that we now require you to turn on macros. This decision was made so Mission could expand the calculator capabilities while maintaining reasonable load times, which you'll learn more about in Mission's blog post down in the description below. The other benefit to enabling macros is that it now takes us less time to update the Mission AWS Pricing Calculator spreadsheet moving forward, which means more frequent updates and more accurate pricing for AWS users. Okay, so you've enabled macros. Next, you'll notice the new Welcome tab. Here, you'll find instructions on how to use the calculator, common troubleshooting tips, how to contact Mission for support, and links to additional resources that include AWS best practices, how to join the Mission cloud community, and cloud native solutions to help you with performance, security, availability, cost efficiency, machine learning, and more. Now, if you click over to the calculator tab, you might wonder where all of the AWS service sections have gone. Don't worry, all of the existing AWS services are just hidden by default. To reduce the initial file size, we've divided each of the AWS services into separate CSV files. Making this change has reduced the calculator file size from 32 megabytes down to under 500 kilobytes. As a result, version 2022.1 will start up faster than ever before, no matter what type of machine you're working on. Okay, let's activate some of these services and see what else is new. After you open a few of the AWS services, you'll notice things are a lot more colorful than previous generations. We've colored various sections in the spreadsheet to make it easier for you to locate the field that needs your input, meaning you'll spend less time searching for those fields and more time on actually getting those AWS cost estimates that you need. A less noticeable change is that we've rewritten all of the functions using the sum formula instead of the array formula, allowing for better performance on lower end machines. Also, it's important to note that when you save your spreadsheet, any active AWS services will be imported into your Excel file, meaning any services that you're working on will still function as expected when you save and share your spreadsheet without the need to share the corresponding data files. Last but not least, as expected, we've applied our standard AWS pricing updates to every section making sure to pull the latest AWS pricing just before publishing version 2022.1. To see all of the specific updates, click the blog post link in the description below. Okay, that's pretty much everything. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to learn more about AWS services or mission products, subscribe to our channel. Also, feel free to leave us a message or ask us questions by entering them in the comment section below. All right, everyone, that's it for me. See you in the next one. Peace.